I was in the hospital for a couple days and my blood pressure was going up and my heart rate was dropping and and my heart was going out of control and they were trying to shock my heart back into rhythm and the doctor was saying Amy whatever it is you believe in think about that right now do you believe in God what do you believe in think about that right now I remember thinking I believe in love that that's the most important thing is love. I believe in love. Love of life and love for each other. And I remember right then getting really frustrated and just thinking, there's so much left to do in life. Like, I, there's absolutely no way I'm ready to go. I remember waking up from the surgery. I looked down at my legs. I was under the blanket, but I looked down and that's the first time that I saw that, you know, my legs are gone. Because I made that choice to be here, I've never felt like a victim. Instead, I remember thinking, this happened to the right person. Because I knew that I could handle it. Before I got sick, I was a massage therapist and I loved it. That's just completely who I was. And then after I lost my legs and tried really hard to be the person that I was, I think I just wasn't that person anymore. And I would just hear like this little voice in my head that would say, you're supposed to be doing so much more than this. And so, Here I am. Today, when we were shooting and, and they were asking questions, I don't really stop and think day to day about how profound it is. My goal in life is not to inspire people. I mean, I just do what I do and I do it because it feels good and because I can share my energy and love and what I've learned with people. When I'm helping other people, whether it's going to Africa or working with my organization, I feel like I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Hi. Hi. Hi there, you. How are you? I'm going to the prosthetic shop that um, makes my legs, and we're actually going to discuss, like, come up with a plan for my legs because um, so right now every set of legs I have have some sort of problem that needs to be fixed and uh, it makes it really challenging because I rely on other people to fix my legs. Today I wanted to have you guys look at a pair of legs that were done for me that are amazing. They're silicone legs, they're gorgeous, and I've never been able to wear them because the ankles fill up with air. Everybody um, told me that I wouldn't be able to snowboard again, or they weren't sure if I'd be able to do it again. And so once I did it, I realized, you know, it just took a little bit of creativity and adapting and a lot of drive but I did it. So did he do it? Oh, you can't oh, even I'll see. And that showed me that if I put my mind to something, I can do it. And I think that's important for everybody to know. When I lost my legs, there was nothing out there. There was really like zero resources for somebody like me who wanted to snowboard again and wanted to skateboard again. So to go from that to starting our organization and then our organization now hosting, you know, the first adaptive snowboard competition in the X Games. It's huge, and it's really, it feels really good to me. Aren't they crazy? <laughs> I know. I love them. I think absolutely everybody has disabilities. Some are more visible than others. Mine are more visible, obviously. But everybody has tragedy in their life. 
at some point and everybody has a disability. I think if I were to have a mission, it really is to just absolutely live the fullest life that I can live and experience experience everything that there is to experience and just learn from this journey that I'm on. I think that we were all born with so much potential to do amazing things if that's what we want to do. We have so much more potential than we even know. You think that beauty is completely on the outside. So you focus on what you look like and what you should wear and you truly, I think with the media and stuff, you think that, that beauty is on the outside. And it's not at all. It's not what you have or what you don't have, it's what you get. And you realize that there's so much more to life than you ever knew. like once a month you'll find a good show let's do something about that let's start a band let's start playing backyard parties let's figure out a way to create our own mayhem if we can't find it somewhere let's do it ourselves and that's cool to see that again it's just discouraging that there's so many great bands